Hi friends, my name is Asim Jain and uh, in this lecture we will uh, learn about the hash table. So in the last video I told you about the hash with the stepping function. This video we are trying to implement it with the linked list. So first the introduction what a hash table is. So uh, uh, you see here in the code that in a hash table you can save keys and values and the uh, uh, USB unique selling point of this is the uh, retrievals are like real quick so if you save something in array there will be on index and you need to figure out then you might have to uh, search almost each element in the array iterate over it till you get it so it could be o to the o n would be the big o number uh, the time complexity for this with this it's quick because since you have the hash you just try to get the value quicker so how it works let's understand with the example so here let's say if you have the key called as john smith so uh, based on that uh, the hash function will generate a key for you so you go there and then you will have a bucket so if there is more than one element with the same kind of key then there will be a linked list which will uh, you know with a small iteration you would be able to get it so a good hash function will give you uh, you know not the cluster but the scattered hash numbers and there won't be a collision so this is the case where I was talking about collision so John and Lisa if they have same hash code uh, hash value which was generated out of function then you can uh, put them in the single bucket and each bucket is made out of uh, could be made out of the data structure which is linked list now it depends on the implementation how do you do it what I did here is the linked list so let me first run this test case and then I'll explain you with the help of the code so I want to tell you that why this thing failed because of the uh, mm, negative hash code which got generated over here so I just want to take your attention over here that hash code when it's generated it can be negative so this function will uh, you know give us the positive index and after that if you run the test case will pass let's see it in action so everything passed right now uh, let's uh, learn it uh, step by step so whenever you are putting uh, uh, entry what actually you are trying to do you have a key and a value so once you uh, get the key so basically what you are trying to do you are trying to uh, infer the index because uh, what we did here uh, the underlying we have the linked list uh, array uh, so you might have seen this syntax uh, several times like you have integer array and then you say ARR right something like that so we have an underlying uh, thing instead of using the integer we are using abstract data type which is our hash entry which is nothing else but a linked list so what a linked list is linked list is uh, you know it has the reference to the next uh, object or the next hash entry so uh, that you can iterate it over like you go here it will have the reference to next so you can get the value out of it so this is pretty much uh, you know a very common linked list which has key value and the next entry so uh, what are you trying to get the index so how you get the index so based on the key let's say it's Asim Jain or Shri Shri so we use the Java's hash code which will give us the hash code uh, the hash code would look something weird like a million value then you convert it in the usable index and at times the hash code can be negative so our test case failed because of that in last run so with this you take out that negative value and then you make it positive then you need to make sure that uh, your uh, implicit array has 16 value and not these million or like several slots so you need to fit it into that so we are uh, using the modulus function modulus function or the remainder function so we are trying to divide it with whatever the capacity we have uh, we are trying to divide it with that the initial size 
so uh, it would uh, if you multiply that in table it will go uh, as close as possible and then whatever the remainder is that would become the index so first you get the index this is just a hack to create the collision avoid it once you get the index then you will get back to the caller function and then uh, you will uh, generate the entry hash entry so hash entry if you look at the constructor you just need a key and a value once you have the entry you would uh, make sure that in the uh, array which is the linked list array over here uh, when you retrieve the value is null if the value is null you can easily put the first entry over there but in case if it is not null which means there is a collision collision means at that particular index the value already exists so how do you put it there you don't want to overwrite it so what do we do is uh, as a linked list so you have one item for example item 1 then you will put it in the list as item 2 so anytime when you have the collision you can use this strategy and you can keep linking for all the item which uh, you know turns up in the same index they would be linked with each other in the linked list so here you are drawing but you want to do it at the end so you are trying to get the uh, uh, hash entries from here and you are iterating till the time you reach to the tail which is the last element of this uh, thing and then you add the entry there or then you link that uh, entry there in the linked list so this is like cool for the uh, putting and getting the value right now uh, so like getting same same stuff so when you want to get first thing is <coughs> you would generate the key uh, like the index based on the key so key will generate same same algorithm you will generate the hash code then hash code will give you the index once you get the index you will try to retrieve the data and then you will see if that first entry whatever the entry you get if it is not null then uh, you will start iterating to the end and if uh, in between while iterating if you find the value matches then you will return the value in case if the value doesn't match uh, inside that then you will return the null so this is uh, get and put which is like super simple in link uh, sorry in hash map which is underlyingly using the array of the linked list so i hope you like this and thanks for watching